glad this is Dave. We've got the SS behind me here looking good on this uh, hot summer day. Uh, I just want to bring you guys up to speed on some of the things that have been going on with the car. Uh, as you may or may not know, I've had it for five years and put a uh, paltry 12,780-ish, 85-ish miles on the car, which is pathetic. Um, but you do know that I also have modded it quite a bit. Um, long story short, she's up for an inspection, and I, and I attempted to do that two weeks ago. I put fresh uh, high-flow cats on it. Um, generally, that was not what it had on it. Uh, and um, made sure the tune was ready to go. One thing I completely forgot to do was check the readiness monitors prior to going. So with that resulted in the state of New Jersey, you are allowed one readiness monitor um, to not be complete. In this case, I had two, and they were both focused on the oxygen sensor. Uh, and they're actually <laughs> annoying to take care of, but easy in the same way. So, like I said, in New Jersey, you're allowed to have two, or I'm sorry, allowed to have one. I had two. I was able to clear one fairly easily. So what I want to do is get you in the car. Let's take a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We'll get on HP tuners, and I'll show you what, 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 what I'm looking at. One of the things you really need to do before you go and get your vehicle inspected is, is ensure that those monitors are complete, or at least for your particular state, if they allow one, you can have one or whatever. And in my case, I have six that I had to look at, six. I had to look at so if that whoop plane coming over not landing all right but i didn't check that so that was dumb so i now have you know a month to um get it sorted out other than that the car runs awesome and frankly i did put the cats back on because it has definitely smoothed the sound of the car out so let's get inside let's check out what's going on and hopefully you learn something all right, so I'm not sure how well you can see this. Hopefully, it comes across on the uh, on the camera relatively well. But uh, what you're looking at is a standard screen on HP tuners uh, for the scanner. So what I'm going to do is let's get the car fired up. All right. Now I, I know this is a little on the loud side, so my apologies in advance. And. Um, what you're generally looking for, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the vehicle. I assume, like this is assuming that you guys know how to hook up HP tuners and you have it. Or you could even do this with a scan tool. I just happen to have HP tuners here. So what I'm going to do is just for the hell of it, I want to run a little quick scan, look at the car, make sure everything's uh, going well. And then right here, there is this engine symbol. Click on that. Read your DTCs. Bang. All right, so now... You can see here, and I don't know how well you can you can see it if there's a bad glare or what. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven readiness monitors, misfire fuel system components. Don't even know what the hell the components one means. Catalyst, evaporative system, and the two oxygen sensor ones. Right, so. What I had the problem with was these two oxygen sensor ones, oxygen sensor and oxygen sensor heater were not complete. They were both showing incomplete. The way that you are able to get the oxygen sensor one cleared out is probably the easiest way. Let me move the camera. All right, so I, I'm gonna sit in the car and put the uh, cooled seats on and have the AC blowing on me. So I wanted to go through, I'm just letting it idle here. So if, you may or may not hear me well. Um, but the easiest way to get the O2 sensor heater one done is cold start, complete cold start. So pretty much overnight, fire the car up, put the AC on with the front and rear defrost on, and let her rip and sit there for like two, two and a half minutes. And that usually, usually, I don't say not always, but usually will kick the heater on because it's all about the drive cycles with this if your tune is right misfire fuel system components all that stuff should automatically go to complete if the tune is correct um but for pardon me i'm just adjusting here um but for uh things like the oxygen sensor like the 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 standard one where it just says let me bring it over here so for this guy where it says oxygen sensor complete that one you actually swing you around that one you actually need to drive 45 to 55 I've actually found with this car you got to find a decent highway 
where you just just get into it and drive for like one to two minutes at a sustained speed. Uh, so what I ended up doing was going in a, a local interstate and go like two exits. And in one case, I did one exit and that thing completed. Now, I'm gonna try tomorrow to get the sensor heater. I'm an idiot. One of the things I really wanna tell you guys, make sure that you know, is that when you go to do these DTCs, especially if you have H HP tuners or something like that, and you see this guy right here, that's fine if you have some like codes up here in the DTC and readiness area. But if you hit that, that will clear out the oxygen sensor completeness and the sensor heater completeness again. So once you get a complete, do not clear that. <laughs> do not hit clear, just hit read for when you wanna read uh, DTCs over again. So let's see, I just hit it again. See, it's still incomplete. And my guess is it's gonna stay incomplete until tomorrow because there's no reason and sorry, just get this guy here. There's no reason uh, for the heater to go on because the car is warm, right? So we'll see tomorrow morning if you know if I have trouble with it again. But in this case, it should remember it as long as I don't hit the clear DTCs again. I should be back in business. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. If your tune is right, the rest of the stuff should should be right. Um, there are some tricks for the oxygen sensor heater one, but I was able to get it a few days ago. Both of them. And like an idiot, I hit clear DTCs again when I got in the car today before I went over, I wasn't thinking. So that's really it. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions about this, I know it's kind of quick and dirty, but that you really want to have, in my case, I should pass. I have one incomplete one. I just couldn't, the guy didn't have any time to get me in for inspection today. So uh, pretty badass with a nine second car. <sighs> you, you liar. Low 10 second car passes inspection with flying colors guys thanks for watching if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button and uh, as always guys keep the shiny side up take care